there's a, I think there's a difference of scale, you know, like uh, when we visit um, the artists here in, in Beijing, they had like big studios, so they have, the artists we visit have like a lot of space to work and to create and they work in this large scale. And also in Europe, uh, we had the chance to visit uh, uh, very interesting spaces, which is super, super big. And in Brazil, uh, unfortunately, I don't, I don't, I don't know many groups which has like this opportunity of have these big spaces to work and to make things together. And I think it's a really, it's a really important difference because. From my Brazilian, my uh, experience in Brazil, I'm noticing that there's a lack of opportunity to to be together, just to meet uh, ourselves and be together and and have discussions and have well, especially because I, I came from a city Natal, where we definitely don't have a lot of space. So at the same time, there's a. a an important uh, point of connection, which is the need of occupy the public spaces, which I think it's a it's a it's a thing that here in Beijing, as well as uh, in Europe and in Brazil, we like we share the, this preoccupation in occupy public spaces and use these public spaces as a place to meetings and to work and to perform and to. And to create discourse, uh, social discourse, and political movements. Two days ago, when we met Alessandro Holandi at the, at the coffee place, uh, he uh, told us a, a, a phrase which, which make a, re a really great impact in myself, which was uh, apparently the art cannot change anything anymore. And I think that is a really tough conclusion, but I think it's a conclusion uh, I'm starting to to put in my mind that apparently art cannot change, really change, make uh, the change we need to do like in a context like Brazilian one, because uh, the limits of politicization of art are really, are, uh, every day are more and more visible. The, the difference, the, there's a, a gap between the art spaces, the art production, and the social spaces and the, uh, in the daily life. And some, yeah, of course, as an artist uh, and, and as a political artist and as, as an activist which works with art as a way of activism, I have to believe that, well, it is important to make art and to try to with art uh, change things and made, made uh, our, our, our problems more visible. But at the same time, I'm facing like uh, a kind of hopelessness, you know, about what we can really do as artists uh, for social changing. I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe I'm too pessimist right now. But I think we need like to reshape our ways of, of thinking art, of thinking politics. We need to reconstruct our, our networks. We need to lost a little bit the, the centrality of the artist and the centrality of the art space in our way of making politics. Maybe we, we need to come back to the streets and to start to talk with people uh, and to start to make of uh, our daily lives an important uh, set of changing and not just uh, and not just being like uh, closed in art space, in art galleries and museums and art projects. I don't know. I'm feeling this stronger, getting stronger, and stronger inside me. The need of 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 uh, reconstruct this this connection with the with the real world. And not just use the real world and the prob and the social problems as a, as a, a thematic, you know, as a a thing uh, which I would like to approach with my with my artwork, but be really like inside of it and.
feel this implication more and more strong because sometimes I feel very the I feel the the art space and the art discourse very disconnected of the 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 materiality of of the life and of the daily life in a context like Brazil, for example. There's a, a thing we we were discussing uh, in the last in the last days and during all this process about how the margins are connected with the center, how the center needs to produce margins in order to keep uh, its own definition of the center. Well, like the territory needs the borders for the territory ma uh, make it make sense. They create borders so they could, they define what is the margins and what is the center in order to make the the territory as a as as a, as a thing as a concrete thing. But at the same time, uh, sometimes I think, and this is why I'm not I'm not sure that the margins need the center in the same in the in the in the same in the same way. Well. To me, it's very clear that the center needs to build the margins to construct themselves. But at the same time, I think the relation of the margins with the center is always a relation of struggle, uh, rather than a relation of uh, of being defined by what the center, what by how we 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 define the centers. So in Brazil, I've, I I perceive. Uh, uh, um, a, gr a great movement of the margins trying to speak about the margins or the margins trying to make their own discourse about the location, the situation visible and the real discur discourse about margins. So I think that, well, I don't know if, if I would use the word protect, but I think if you, if you have to, to, to make uh, po potentialize it, to potentialize, we... we let the margins speak what they are trying to say. Let the margins uh, uh, came came up with the the forces uh, of of the margins, the the real power of the margins. Because uh, I think I think uh, I think the most part of the times we and I use we like uh, on 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 art art people, like, let's say like this, who try to work about the margins, we are trying to to do that, to use as an object of observation or to find in the margins uh, the potencies, the ideas that we need to make our central perspectives working. And it's how the history always make with margins. The margins was always like a reservatory of ideas and of initiatives, and I, j I, I, I just have to go there and take it and bring it and put it in a, mu a museum, and I'll I'll make like a a, a renew a, a renewed uh, framework to me by like almost stealing, and uh, it's 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 a, sometimes it's kind of extractivist, you know. We will st yeah, and we will take will take f from the margins the, the the things they are doing, and do not let them do it by themselves sometimes, or uh, and will not let them work uh, within the margins. We will always try to bring them to the center because we believe that the center is a place where the things can breed and can live because the center has money, the center has spaces, has structures, has has everything. And we are are very used to see the margins as a place where where there's no space, is money or nothing or potent. But the margins are full of 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 alternatives, of ways of creating change. And I don't know. Sometimes I, I would like to see relate uh, more relations, margins to margins, and less less this movement. Uh, Margins to center, centers to margins. Sometimes I would like to hear more and and to say more about, about how the marginalized people are trying to connect among themselves and to make themselves uh, a network of of social, social creating and social sensibility. Let's say like this.